A new clip of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has been revealed. In this Skywalker Saga news update video, I'm going to be showing you the new footage, plus some info that has come out over Christmas. From more age ratings to something else I'm not entirely convinced by, let's get straight into this quick Skywalker Saga news update. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos on the game. Let's get started by taking a look at this new clip that was posted by WB Games on Instagram and Twitter. So it shows Boba Fett and a Bantha on Tatooine. Boba Fett actually speaks and here is his voiceover. Bounty or no bounty, you're coming with me. Honestly, that voice is not good. It sounds like Daniel Logan who played young Boba Fett in Attack of the Clones but I really hope they can change this to be Tamura Morrison, who voices Boba Fett in so many Star Wars games, including Battlefronts, and he's playing Boba Fett in his own show. The question is now, who plays Django Fett? Is it going to be Daniel or Tem? Because if they can get Tem to do Django, why is he not playing Boba? It's not awful, but it just sounds off. It's not right to have... Tamira's voice not be Boba Fett. For those of you interested, here's the footage upscaled using AI, so it's a lot better for you. Higher resolution, much sharper, so you can see a little bit more details. There are some Lego bricks that are behind Boba Fett and the Bamfer on the floor. What do you think to this clip? Are you a fan of the voiceover? I can tell you right now by looking at the subreddit, Discord, and whatnot, people do not like it, and there is a reason why. It's just not very good. So as I said in my previous LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news videos, a few age rating boards have started to rate the game. This has continued with even more boards rating the game in the past week or so. Firstly, South Korea's rating board on Christmas Eve rated the PC version of the game 12 plus for minor violence against humans and non-humans. Interestingly, Warner Brothers' partner in Korea, Inplay Interactive, applied for this age rating on the 20th of December, so very recently. The game was also submitted to Taiwan's rating board and given the P rating. Lastly, Australia have rated the game with the PG rating for mild science fiction violence. Another interesting tidbit I thought I'd mention is that the game actually received a rating not long after its reveal in 2019 and then again in October 2020. But the most recent one received is for the PC version specifically on the 17th of December. With the other two ratings from 2019 and 2020 not being tied to a specific platform, I'm going to guess they were just placeholders. Either way, as I mentioned last time, this all is probably a good sign that it's being age rated. No matter whereabouts is, the fact that it's several now, it's like six in total, that is really good. Another thing that happened on Christmas Eve was the final day of a TT Games developer at the company. Nuri, who was a games designer, posted that it was his last day working there after five years or so. Lastly, a Brazilian LEGO Games YouTuber may have slipped up and gave us an uh, early tease of when we will be getting news about the game. So, Warner Play, who is the Brazilian YouTube channel for WB Games, had Hagazo, a LEGO Games YouTuber, on their channel to talk about his top 10 dark side characters. At the start of the video, he says the year of 2021 is ending, but soon we should get more news about the game. Obviously, that's easy to predict, but that is not what I'm here to talk about. The most interesting part is that on his channel, he did a second part to this collaboration, and it's his top 10 light side characters. Now, in his video, he says people should subscribe to the Warner Play channel on YouTube because we should get some new stuff about the game in January, and Warner Play will advertise it there firsthand. This could be him making a mistake, which is totally fine. He might not have meant to have said January, he might have just meant in the next year, in 2022, something like that. He might not even know a thing that news could be coming in January. That is a totally possible scenario. But another possible scenario is that he has been told a potential time frame for when we could be getting news, which might be in January, and he may have slipped up revealing it. What do you think about this? Let me know down in the comment section below. It could go either way, I couldn't tell you. Make sure you do subscribe for future LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update videos and drop a like if you did enjoy this video and learn something new.
Plus, check out the playlist on screen right now for any Skywalker Saga news videos you might have missed, and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.